Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Oblivion. Well, last time, I became the ultimate Daedric champion, and uh, today, we're back at the arena because, uh, okay, I may possibly have underestimated uh, how much stuff needs to be taken care of here. Because I did kind of assume it was a two-part thing. Either I bet on, you know, other people fighting, or alternatively, I fight myself. A series of uh, escalating fights against tougher and tougher opponents, but... Apparently, there's something I've missed. The comments were mentioning this, something to do with the Grand Champion. Okay, Owen, not actually here to fight today. Gonna be honest, I did kind of forget my, uh, yes, uniform. So, I couldn't fight anyway. But, remind me about the Grand Champion. The reigning Grand Champion is Agranagro Malog. His fighting name is the Great Prince. He's an orc. Well, half-orc, actually, or so they say. The important thing is he's been grand champion for nearly a decade. Why? Because nobody's had the guts to face him. The Great Prince is unbeatable. At least that's what the people of Cyrodiil have come to believe. Maybe it's time someone stepped into that arena and proved them wrong. No, no, no. I was just saying I'm not going in the arena today. All right. I'm going to meet up with this chap. You'd have a nice chat with him. Here we go. Agronak Gromalog. Lovely. Hail, friend. Good to see you again. I hope the arena has been as good to you as it's been to me. What brings you back to the Imperial City? And as it turns out, buddy, it's you actually. Though, okay, maybe don't open a- Hey, I'd like to kill you. Doesn't seem that friendly in many ways. No, 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 no. Let's ask after, yes, his, like, name, the Grey Prince. It's what everyone calls me. I guess I'm partly to blame. I have never made it a secret that I'm actually only half orc. I am a lord's son, yet I've been denied the noble privilege to which I'm entitled. So I have become the Grey Prince, noble in my own right. Still, if I could prove who I really am and show the world that an orc can be noble in blood as well as deed, maybe, yes, you could help me. I mean, I could, but... I do feel like the world doesn't need, um, convincing of that. Yes, there actually already are orc nobles. They're very fancy, live in a big house, absolutely adore those guys. So, uh, sure, why not? I'll help out. I grew up here in the Imperial City, but I was born elsewhere. My mother was a servant in the employ of Lord Leviticus and resided at his fortress. Lady Leviticus was a shrew of a woman. The Lord and my mother grew close and ultimately fell in love. I was the result of their union. When the lady learned of my birth, she was furious and threatened to kill both my mother and me. So we fled, leaving my claim to nobility behind. My mother died recently. Before she passed, she gave me this key and told me it would unlock the truth at the place of my birth. Crowhaven. Crowhaven is a ruined fort far to the west of here. I'd go myself, but my training regiment doesn't allow for the luxury of such an excursion. My friend, you must travel to Crowhaven and use the key to unlock whatever it is that holds the proof of my birthright. Find this proof and return it to me, and I'll share with you some of my finest combat techniques. Trust me. You can't learn these moves in a book. Okay, so we've got a brand new mission, Origin of the Grey Prince, and uh, I'm gonna be honest, buddy. The way your mother, like, you know, chose to phrase that, unlock the truth of your birth or whatever, it did sound a bit, um, ominous. Like, I feel like this is not necessarily going to be good news. Okay, pure coincidence, I've actually already passed by this place, though, okay. I could have sworn this just looked like a, um, a, yes, a necromancer's outpost. I swear I saw skeletons round the fort. Oh, yeah, just as I remembered, in fact, a bit nastier because, yes, now the enemies are scaling to me a little bit more. So, uh, skeletons, uh, liches, uh, okay, something is not entirely right here, though. The guy could just be, you know, very dead and has been dead for a very long time, potentially. It might just be, you know, as simple as a, hey, you know what? We're all gonna be sad because it turns out his dad's dead. Okay, skeletons gone, lich taken care of, though, um, yes, kind of but notice one other thing, which is uh, coffins. There are coffins uh, 
dotted around uh, outside the fort. So, okay. It's possible we're going into a vampire sort of a situation. Okay, the evidence we're after appears to be nearby. Though, by the looks of it, yes. We're going to have to loop the long way around to get to that. And, oh bloody hell. Okay, we've got spooky, spooky mist and whatnot. Though, for the time being, actually... Okay, just basic wolves. That's nothing too dramatic. Okay, nothing the whole way round, but I've just reached a door that I needed the key he gave me to open. So I suspect things might be about to get real. And hang on, that wasn't a... That's not a wolf, okay. Hang on, we've got something else here. What is that, buddy? Oh! There's a person. Okay, don't open fire. Just yet. That might be his dad, who's going to be like, Oh my goodness, I was trapped here by those wolves for a decade. I'm so glad you're here. And uh, now you are here, I'm going to give you a giant pile of money and reunite with my son. And uh, oh my goodness, he's the grand champion. I'm so proud of him. Though I suspect it's not necessarily go to go that way, no. Okay, just keep the scouting up. Mysticism moving in the right direction. That's fine. And... Oh! Okay, entry one. Beauty, pure and sublime. That is the only way to accurately describe my love, the Maiden Gromalog. True, the Orcs of Tamriel are often vilified by the other citizens of the Empire, and rarely would they be considered a pleasure to look upon. So, is my Maiden look to have a rare breed of Orc, unlike the rest of her kin, in physical appearance? Nay, in fact she is the perfect representation of her race. Green skin, muscular frame, and all. But beautiful she is all the same. You know what? I like this guy. This guy's cool. Me and him can be friends, unless he's about to attack me in a second. Which he probably is, to be honest. And, oh, Who am I to judge or criticise her? when so many would condemn my very existence. Okay, so you're a vampire then, got it. So, time goes on and he doesn't tell her. She never actually knew. And then, joy and exultation, she is with child. They predict a boy, we've settled on the name, so okay, confirmation, it's the grand champion. In truth, I never realised such miracles were possible, but the divines have granted us their blessing, and so shall it be. I must wonder, of course, if the dear child will share in my dark gift. Okay, that makes sense. That's why he's so strong and powerful. He's half vampire. Not enough he'd know about it, because presumably he's fine being out in the sun, but still a bit stronger, a bit faster. Enough to give him an edge, especially when blended with, you know, the natural talent of orcs for fighting. And, uh, yes, entry six. As it turns out, this, uh, didn't go well. Betrayal, foul and loose to my harlot. How dare she question my motives, uh, question the love I have for my own unborn child. So, okay. He finally told her, and it didn't go well. Possibly because he'd, you know, been hiding it for so long already. Maybe when Luktovas come to her senses before she refuses to come out of her room, we can have a rational discourse about our future. I do not, however, retain much hope and... Uh, oh dear. Imprisoned in my own home, while I slept, Luktov locked me in my own private chambers. She called to me through the door, told me of her plan to escape with our unborn child. She means to keep my baby from me. When I get free, I will find the treacherous whore and rip the child from her very womb. Two weeks have passed and she locked me in. Try as I might, I cannot free myself. I cannot reach the doors. If I don't feed soon, I will go mad. And then all of a sudden, not much at all. Okay, like the point where you open your diary purely to write dot 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 to indicate that you're not writing. That is definitely the point where you have completely lost it. So, okay. I could just leave at this point, given I can just, you know, sneak straight out. Would that maybe be the right call? I mean, I don't need to kill this guy, like, at all. But then again, is it better or worse for me to leave him alive or put him out of his misery? Ah, but on the other, other hand, uh, he might not believe me unless I take, you know, sufficient proof. Potentially, like, you know, a ring off his finger, something of that nature. So, uh, okay, buddy. 
Let's do this. You're a vampire. You're weak to fire. So if you just want to, uh, huh? yes, hold still for a second. Uh, lovely. Right. And, oh, you are not even that stronger. Oh, blimey. You are fast. Even by my standards, uh, you are fast. So, okay. Get around the bank of uh, him and, oh. Okay. Not that strong. Presumably weak from so, so long not feeding. Nope, nothing of note on him, to be honest, though the sword might potentially be. Hang about, just just get him off the sword, please. Get him off the sword. Uh, Daedric Dagger. You know what? Worth taking and selling at the bare minimum. You know what? I like this guy. It's 3 a.m., everyone else has gone to bed, uh, but not the champion. Oh no, he never stops bloody training. I love it. You've returned. So, have you been to Crawhaven? Have you... What's this? The Journal of Lord Leviticus? My friend, you've done it. This is wonderful news. The words of Lord Leviticus himself. Perfect. Ah, I believe I owe you something, eh? Here, let me show you these moves. Step like this. Now strike. All right, now parry. That's it. There you are. Some of the best combat moves you'll ever learn. You'll need them if you want to last more than five seconds against me in the arena. Now, let's see what this journal says. Huh. Ah, interesting. But... I... I... Wait. Can this be? But... By Shinji. I'm the son of a vampire. I'm no gray prince. I'm the spawn of evil. I thought my father was a nobleman. Not some blood-sucking monster. I can't... I can't... Uh, all a lie. A lie. Oh dear. I feel like, um, yes. He wasn't necessarily thrilled to hear that, though. To be honest, it's not really mutually exclusive. Like, not sure I'm supposed to say it out loud, but the Count of Skingrad is a vampire and noble. He juggles both really bloody well. Ah, uh, my whole life has been nothing but a lie. I'm no grey prince. I'm a vile, wretched spawn of evil. Please leave me. I... I can't... I... Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I feel a bit bad about, you know, telling him this now. I feel like he was just much happier when he didn't know. So, um... Okay, he knows now. He's very, very upset about it, and... Uh, well, I was about to say no one's gained anything, but that's not true. I have definitely gained something. Blade jumps up to 66, Block jumps up to 57, and Athletics too. That one is a very, very slow to raise. So, you know what? He has made me faster, stronger, better defended. All three of those skills are really bloody useful. Also, while I'm here following morning, yes, I was thinking about one thing the other day. Okay, slap on the uniform. He does keep plenty of spares dotted about. Lovely. Okay, Owen, put me in, because there is something I would like to test. Your next opponent is a Khajiit. Not one of the quick, jumpy ones, either. This cat goes in heavy, usually with an axe. Now go get him. Okay, Heavily armoured Khajiit, absolutely flipping lovely. So, yes, one, I've got some really... Really powerful summons to hand. Uh, and two, I've got some fortification spells uh, that I've been using on, you know, uh, companions. But in theory, am I allowed to use my own fortification spells uh, on my own summons too? Good people of the Imperial City, welcome to the arena. The winner of this match will advance to the rank of Bloodletter. Who wants it more? The yellow team or the blue team? Let's find out! So, okay, things go down. We know you're a melee lad and you are very, very fast indeed. And you're trying to come at me with an axe. No, you don't. No, you flipping don't. Okay, send in my summon. Just jump around until we... Okay, my summon is not necessarily helping that much right now. Okay, we've got a very, very fast cat here. Now, I would like... Okay, would you please do something? There we go. Punch him. Why are you not drawing any attention whatsoever? Okay, the cat's obsessed with attacking me. But unfortunately, I for once am now... 
bloody useless. Okay, the Zivili. I am not impressed by the Zivili. Please do something. Okay, the point is, the point is, the entire point was all along, can I use my own spells to, oh, hang on. John, we're taking on a very fast opponent. Get the skeleton champion on the field. All right, and to make sure the skeleton champion can assist, I was going to use, you know, the various maglia boosting spells, but, 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 what if instead, uh, hurry up, you slow bastard. So, okay, are you now much, much faster? Oh, you flipping are. He flipping is. I can power up my own summons. Oh, flip me. Oh, this is, this is ridiculous. Oh, this is, this is good. Life is suddenly very, very good, actually. I've now got a super powered fast skeleton. Okay. Step one. Captain Speedy. No, you don't. Down on the ground, please. The crowd flipping. Love that move. Love it. And you know what? For one day only, Mr. Bitey is coming back. But, 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 but. Not Mr. Bitey as you knew him. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Maglia Smash. Love it. Just get that on you. And also, don't forget, uh, Maglia must live. 30%. Damage reduction as well. I probably can't cast Hurry Up You Slow Bars at this point. No, I can't, but it doesn't matter because, oh yeah, just stay nearby. Go over to my shield. And now at this point, oh, you're in trouble, buddy. Oh, now you're in trouble. Now you're in trouble. Now you're being slaughtered by Mr. Bitey, who's got, oh, oh, Okay, head straight back up top because I am determined uh, to find some use for the bloody Zivili. Okay, gate goes uh, down, uh, summon uh, Zivili, and now, uh, straight away, uh, yes. I feel like it's definitely going to be using its punching attacks, so uh, how about we put straight away... Uh, yes, Maglia Smash goes on uh, you, uh, lovely. And on top of that, do I have enough magic left over to also make him much, much faster? Okay, hurry up, you slow bastard. There we go. Just get over the top and then just stay. I feel like the AI may be, yes, set to much more reliably go for me. But to be honest, if I just stand here healing and, you know, blocking, that kind of works for me in a way. Because this guy is now just absolutely annihilating this guy in the back, which is beautiful, and, uh, okay, he kind of ran out of uh, everything there. In fact, you know what? With enough block, summons might just be incredibly powerful, because uh, they're just not bothering to deal with my summon. They're just standing there and being zapped in the back, which is beautiful. So there we go, just a few more punches. Uh, sadly, I can't have your soul or anything, but honestly, may as well just, you know, save the weapon charge. Lovely. Okay, I've stepped away from the arena because I'm curious how far I might be able to make Hello, this go. So, for example, do my summons that cast shock damage, and very often they do the Zivili and also, yeah, the Storm Atronach, they both toss lightning around. Uh, if I fortify their intelligence, does that make that lightning better? Or potentially, would the same thing be true if I was to boost, say, yeah, their destruction? I have no idea. Do summons have skills? I don't know. I mean, surely the most logical thing would be, yeah, fortifying destruction. So I'm going to make a spell to do that. Back at the arena, and I've just had a genius realisation, which is uh, the enemy is ignoring the summon and going exclusively for me. Meaning the summon is free to just cast as much as it wants to without being troubled. And uh, that means I know precisely which summon I ought to be using. Oh yeah, that's right, it's time for the Lich. Okay, as soon as the gate goes down, right, summon you, and straight afterwards, uh, go over to, yes, the next spell, Mind the Zap. So we'll just uh, put that on you, if you'd be so kind. And now, shield already up, she is uh, fast, step away. And your destruction should be significantly raised, though, John. Weakness spells. Those are super, super cheap. So now... Okay, could you please use, like, not fire? Okay, I do have fire spells. That's true. There are fire spells. I'm pretty sure I can... Did I ever make a good one, though? Like, at 
So just get that. I'm pretty sure I just missed that. And also, I'm pretty sure my summon just wore off. Okay, the problem we've got here is that the Lich is determined to, yes, use various different spells. Meaning, once again, I'm kind of coming to the assumption that, yeah, it's my old friend, the Storm Atronach, that's the best option. Because absolute bare minimum, step away and then just, yes, get the 100% weakness to shock on you. And you should be taking damage in a bloody hurry. Meanwhile, I just focus on healing, blocking, get those important skills up and... Uh, okay, when you punch her, does that count as electric damage? Because I don't know whether it does or not, you know. That is... Ooh, you know what? I'm stumbling across all sorts of mysteries today. Okay, but one more thing I want to check in the next match, though, which is, is it even possible to, you know, go missing and not be spotted? Let's activate the Khajiit ring I got from, yeah, one of the Daedric Princes. So, uh, Chameleon, 35% right there. That should make me extremely difficult to spot. And I'm going to blend that with summoning a clan fear because these guys are fast. All right, we just summon him in and he just goes and charges forward. If the enemy can't see me, presumably they have to go for my summon. So just to stay back, summon my friend and it might be automatic, you know. It might be, yeah, impossible to... Oh, well, officially I'm not seeing right now. I mean, are you not doing... No, he is determined to locate me, and he's also kind of got me trapped in a corner. Oh, I put myself in a really, really dumb position right now. So, okay, this is this is fine. This is all fine. No, 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 no. Never mind, I got past him anyway. Everything's under control. Right, now we just... Oh, hang on. John, that might be the solution. That's the solution right there. Okay, I know precisely what we're going to do. Okay, paralyze him to get him down, and now block him in. Okay, this is R. Oh, now, this is genius. This is high-level strategy. Because, uh, oh yeah, Storm Atronach is uh, incredibly chunky. It's going to block up the hallway. I'm not sure he can necessarily... Okay, never mind. He got past really bloody easily, as it turns out. However, I'm pretty sure my Storm Atronach is trapped down below. So, okay, this is this has gone marvelously. Okay, what about acrobatics? Can I use acrobatics to get up anywhere? And... Turns out, yes. So, okay. It turns out there are various ways I could just cheese this. And his animation is not happy with me. He does not like me doing this. This feels like the crowd should definitely be booing. This is complete and utter cheating right here. But basically, screw you. Ah, spellcasters. That's what this next one is. A high elf sorceress or something. Just get him close and stab her a few times. That'll teach him. I like Owen's complete contempt for anybody who doesn't just whack people with an axe. But, okay. Spellcasters. Oh, we know how to deal with that. Activate Spellbreaker. Activate Spelldrinker. And activate the Ring of Sunfire. So, yeah, that's 50% spell reflection. Oh, and don't forget, because I've changed my necklace, I can actually afford to take Lydia off for once and instead put on, yes, indeed, Namira. So, okay, this is going to be 60% spell reflection. Oh, now this. This is going to be good fun right here. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. And charge! There we go, coming at me with a spell. Just stay at distance, stay at range. I want you to spell at me. I'd like you to spell at me, please, and... Okay, just when she spells, try and get hit by it if you can. That was... Oh, that one landed and actually... Oh, that one kind of hurt, actually. Okay, this one... That was spell absorption, I think, right there. Just keep moving. I want you to... Okay, her health has definitely taken some severe knocks, too. And... Okay, there's restoration going up. Beautiful. Keep spelling at me. Keep spelling. Come on. Just spell. Just spell. Just spell. Just... I can't stand too close, otherwise she will just... Oh! I think that was the absorption, not anything else. Come on, just keep going. Sooner or later... Wait, do I even need to have the shield up? I think someone said I didn't, but I probably should, just in case. And... Oh, that was definitely reflection right there. Maybe I do need to have the shield up. And... Did you just heal? Well, that's just cheating. Just because I'm doing it doesn't mean you can. Okay, and... That wasn't even close to hitting me. Okay, slight hilarious side though. 
I think she might possibly be almost out of mana because the rate at which she's spelling is definitely going down at this point. Okay, gosh darn it, she's cheating. When her mana comes back, she just heals. So no, 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 no. None of that for you. None of that, none of that, none of that. Screw you. Okay, I wanted this to be a hilarious humiliation, but you had to go and use the same magic I was using. Listen up. This next match is an outrage, but there's nothing I can do about it. You've got three opponents this time, and you have to beat them all. They're Argonian prisoners brought here from Black Marsh. They've been told they have to kill you in exchange for their freedom. I don't know what crimes they committed, but it's your life or their freedom. The choice should be pretty clear. Get going and watch yourself. Okay, we've got an interesting fight for the next one. Three at once, so... Okay, even with a summon, I'm outnumbered anyway, but... Okay, I think I know what we need to do here. Focus on, yeah, movement and bows. I'm guessing they're not going to be the toughest bows in the world, given, you know, they do outnumber me three to one. Three to two, though, including... Hang on, can I... I can just summon you into the arena right now, which is a bloody convenient. And on top of that, John, you can prep ahead of time. Pop some frost damage on my bow and... Okay, just completely accidentally didn't mean to do it this way. Okay, everything's fine. It's all going to be fine. You guys are nice and, uh, yes, speedy. And they are all going to attempt to chase me. So, okay. Right now it's a uh, three to two. How about we even the odds completely? Skull of Corruption is going to hit someone, right? And boom. Okay, someone has just been cloned. So now, now it's a three on, well, okay, three on one still. But they seem to be going down pretty bloody fast. One of them doesn't have any weapons. One of them possibly, I don't know which one I am. Okay, one of you's going for, which one's the one on my team? Okay, they're going down pretty fast right now. Summoning more reinforcements. Stay out of the way. There's definitely an evil clone somewhere. Oh, my weapon's out of charge. Oh, that's embarrassing. Okay, one of them is... There's down to two. Are they the ones... Oh, blimey. Don't zap me, you stupid bastard. Okay, this is fine. We now have no charge. One of them's looking very weak. I think it's you at the front, wasn't it? Okay, maybe do a bit of healing. This one is... This is a bit of a mean fight. Oh, I think possibly you killed one of them. Thank you. Okay, yes, this one doesn't actually have... Uh, and down we go. Okay, I think I'm getting into a good rhythm here, which is uh, summon my lovely friend uh, and then go over to uh, how shocking. Just let him get up to me. How shocking him. And then, uh, yeah, all of a sudden, uh, he seems to be taking damage so, so fast. Like, I am pretty confident the... Oh, blimey. Well, I just got special moved, uh, but that's fine because I've also got, you know, healing magic as far as I need. Uh, I mean, even with that... I am doing better than he is right now. Oh yeah, this is lovely. Get the odd hit in if I need to get a bit of fire damage, but he's just being slaughtered by my summon. This is this is all absolutely fine. Going for the power attack and screw the flip out of you. Oh, and the next fight is my favorite. It's a wizard. So how about you are in fact silent. Yeah, let's get some silence on you all of a sudden. So, okay. You know what? This is going to be, this is going to be fine. Because you are also, I think, a high elf. So you're weak to electricity. Excuse me. I just silenced you. You definitely shouldn't be doing magic at this point. But oh, blimey. Okay, this could be, um, slightly, slightly complicated. Everything's going to be fine. Just get some good healing going on. Do just, like, two of them. And then, on top of that, give me, yeah, proper restore health. That'd be great, in fact. Okay, don't necessarily need, like, you know, anything special. Just, yeah, basic restore health should be A-OK. -okay. And you could, okay, you were a bit on the more dangerous side, actually. Blimey. Okay, they're getting dangerous, but... With some sandwiches, uh, we're still on top of it. We're into the really elite enemies right now, but we're golden for the minutes. All right, this is it. Your last fight against the yellow team. I guess you could say they saved the best for last. The three best, actually. You're up against a swordsman, an archer, and a spellcaster. Two lower level combatants, plus that yellow team champion you've seen down here. You beat all three and you get named champion. I know you can do this. Now get up there and show everyone why you're the best. Oh, wait, there's one more thing. 
I sent Pork Chop the Boar up to the arena to help you out. He'll at least keep one of them distracted. Now, good luck. Oh, flip me, it is another three versus one fight. And apparently, if I do that, I become champion. And presumably, that means it's me and the grand champion's time to shine, though. How are you doing, by the way, buddy? The journal. My father's journal. It says I'm... I'm part vampire. Okay, so he's still not doing uh, so hot, as it turns out. So, okay, we'll deal with what that means later. For now, three opponents, and uh, okay. The same basic strategy we used against the Argonians uh, should work again, though it's going to be much nastier on this occasion. So, okay. We're going to even the playing field, though apparently, actually, you know what? He did say he was sending up a wild boar to help me out. So, uh, it's going to be four versus three. If I use, uh, yes, the Skull of Corruption. So, uh, there we go. My new best boar friend. I love you, Pork Chop. You're my new best friend. Uh, I think I know what we need to do. Okay, straight away, let's get some poison on the field. And also, John, you can probably afford uh, to use the good arrows. In fact, actually, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. How about the really good arrows? In addition, slap on some poison. There we go, and just uh, fire into them as soon as the gate goes down. You'll hit somebody, I would imagine. So yeah, we've got Warrior, Spellcaster, Archer. Okay, and someone's going to come in. Boom! We definitely hit someone. Okay, get in. The reinforcements don't get stuck in the corner. So we've definitely got reinforcements somewhere. Meanwhile, go down to Skull of Corruption. That's going to be fine too. Let's get Skull of Corruption on. Do we hit you? Okay, we definitely hit you on that occasion. Now go over to Staff of Paralysis and... Oh, blimey. Okay, we're taking damage really fast here. Okay, this is... This is fine. Get some really good healing. Like the best healing we've got going on, actually. And no. No, no, no. I need something to be distracted. Someone's down. And you are now paralyzed. The warrior's coming after me. Can we just finish off the, the archer nice and fast, please? Okay, that archer definitely took a fair bit of damage. This is becoming an absolute flipping mess at this point. The archer's still up and about. I'm still healing. Just keep moving in a circle. Pork chop is... Okay, pork chop is still around. Just get you in position as well and focus on the archer. The archer's almost dead. Okay, we're turning the tables. This is going very well, actually. And now... Oh, yeah, my sandwich is still doing a good job. Is pork chop okay? I think pork chop's fine. And now I can just go into defensive mode. Oh, yeah. Oh, flipping yeah. Like that helmet, by the way. Really nice helmet. And we're just shield to shield right now. But that means you're just being punched in the back. And pork chop is going to survive. Which is just... Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful right there. I wish I had a weakness to pig spell. But tragically not. champion return to the bloodworks now and see the blade master well done oh yeah oh flipping yeah more importantly pork chop survived like really easily actually pork chop easily survived the greatest yellow team had to offer i don't even know what killed their mage by the way possibly pork chop you did it you beat them every last one do you know how long it will take for the yellow team to recover from this? <laughs> My friend, it is with great honor that I advance you to the rank of champion. You've done it. You've shown them all you're the best. Well, almost the best. You're done competing in normal arena matches, but they're still the grand champion. Kid, you've got more guts and skill. I think you can take the great prince. Go over and talk to Isabel if you think I'm right. I mean, I'm going to be honest, I'm not really sure he's, like, you know, uh, up for a fight right now. I think I may have, you know, caused him a slight emotional crisis, like, yesterday. Oh, he looks so bloody sad. Angranak, I'm really sorry, like, I could come back tomorrow if you preferred, but, um, could we also maybe, like, I don't know, fight to the death for glory or something? If it's okay, as I say, I could come back another day. Yes, 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 I accept your challenge. Go. Go speak with Isabel. Tell her you're ready. Then we'll... 
Well, we'll meet in the arena. Yes, that will do. Oh. I have a horrible feeling he might be basically planning to, yes, basically commit suicide by me. I'm not sure I want to do this anymore. This is getting very dark. Okay, listen up. There are no disqualifications in a grand champion match. That means you can wear whatever armor you damn well please. Agronach will be wearing his raiment of valor, and he's probably got it heavily enchanted. So feel free to do the same to any armor you have. Now, as you know, in any standard arena match, you're forbidden from looting the corpse of a fallen opponent. Well, this ain't any standard match. In the event that you beat the Grey Prince, you're to remove his armor and present it to me. Then you'll get your own raiment of valor. Oh, and I think I get to pick my own name, given I'm now a champion, so... Okay, it's got to be Shadow Stab. Alright, I do so much sneaking, so much stabbing in the back, I am literally the Assassin Guild leader, so... Oh yeah, that's the one. Shadow Step, huh? I like it. Yeah, that'll do nicely. Alright, it's time to see if you're crazy good or just plain crazy. The Grey Prince is headed up to the arena as we speak. Go up there and meet him, one champion to the next. May the divines have mercy on your soul. Yeah, I'm really not sure this fight's going to go as you're expecting it to. Good people of Cyrodiil, welcome to the Imperial City Arena. Believe it or not, someone has actually challenged the unbeatable Arena Grand Champion. But who, you might ask, could possibly be brave enough to face such a fearless foe? Who could wrest the title from our famed Grey Prince? Good people, I give you the blue team's latest champion, a warrior of skill, strength, and determination. Behold, Shadow Step! Oh, they're booing me, that's not nice. Lords and ladies, citizens of the Empire, I give you the Battle of the Ages. Combatants, steal yourselves. Lower the gates. And by any chance is he actually going to... Oh! Okay, he's... He was coming. Now he stopped. Oh dear, I feel like there's going to be booing in a second. Hi, are you okay? Because if you just actually, you know, take a moment or talk about things, uh, that would be fine too. What are you waiting for? Kill me. Oh, that's definitely what's happening. I mean, I don't really want to, to be honest. Are you okay? Please, just kill me. Can't you see? It's what I want. I can't live like this. Knowing I'm something filthy, something evil, kill me. Okay, and unfortunately there's there's nothing I can do to change his mind, so... Okay, would you mind just, like, holding still for a sec? Because if you just, you know, stay facing that way, we can do this much faster with the sneak attacks and... I mean, I'm surprised people are still cheering. Something has very clearly gone, like... Really, really wrong here, though. Oh, That's true, actually. Hang on, I did just have a thought. So, he's now, yes, completely passive. But, um, just out of interest, if I cloned him, would he still be passive? And would the clone be passive? And, okay, the evil clone is, in fact, very happy to fight. Oh, you have just witnessed the impossible. Agronacro Malad has been defeated. I say again, the Grey Prince has been defeated. Behold, the new hero of the people of Cyrodiil. Behold, your arena grand champion, Shadow Step. Esteemed grand champion, you may leave the arena now. See the Blade Master to receive your winnings and be awarded your raiment of valor. So, okay. Daedric Longsword, and we were told uh, we were supposed to loot this guy's corpse. So, uh, okay. Health, fatigue, athletics, personality, etc. Though it is heavy armor, 
Then again, there is always light and heavy variants, so if we're lucky, we can get a light version. By the love of Shinji, you did it! You beat the Grey Prince! This... this is unbelievable! That makes you the best fighter the arena has ever seen! You've got Agronax Raymond of Valor. Good! Give it to me! All right. Now I give you your own. By Shinji, I... I'm shaking! This is amazing! Okay, do. Do you want a heavy Raymond of Valor or a light Raymond of Valor? Your choice. Ah, perfect. Yes, definitely lights. Right. Okay. It is with great honor that I present to you this gold and the esteemed Raymond of Valor and name you the new arena grand champion. You've done it. The Grey Prince was a great orc, rest his soul and all that, but you beat him. <laughs> now go. Take some time to rest. When you're feeling up to it, Come talk to me again and we'll discuss your future. Oh no, 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 no. I know where that conversation goes. Uh, you're going to give me some pointless, boring office work that pays like 20 gold a week and I refuse to be part of it. And yes, precisely the same as what we saw before. So, I mean, athletics is nice. The health is uh, okay. Oh, but it fills at every slot. Oh, never mind. That's terrible in that case. Hilariously, I was a lowly pit dog just, um, yes, yesterday in universe. So, um, as a result of that, I've gone from pit dog to grand champion in approximately 36 hours. Lovely. Wow, you're the grand champion. I saw your fight against the Grey Prince. You're the best. Can I, can I follow you around? I won't get in the way. Oh, flip me. Did I just pick up a brand new follower? So, uh... Okay, become Guildmaster of, uh, yes, the Assassin's Guild. Uh, you get an assassin to follow you around. Uh, become Guildmaster of uh, the Knights of the Nine. You get knights following you around. Uh, become Grand Champion, and you just get a fan. Okay, you know what? Welcome aboard, kids. Golly, you're the best. I'm going to follow you and watch you and worship the ground you walk on. Let's go. You're my new favorite character. I love you. Yes, Oh, great and mighty grand champion, is there something you need? Can I carry your weapon, shine your boots, back rub, perhaps? Oh, this guy's great, I love him. So I have defeated the grand champion, become a grand champion myself, and picked up a brand new adoring fan. So I would say that's enough for now, but next time, me and my new adoring fan, we've got adventuring to do. In particular, with my brand new adoring fan by my side, I think it is finally bloody time, and uh, I know you've heard this before, but next time, I really mean it this time, we are going to Sundercliff Watch. Unless, of course, I get distracted by something between now and the next episode. So, will that happen? Place bets now. We shall flipping see. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Oblivion. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got ourselves- I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is gonna take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.